Welcome to Tech Photo Blog. This is episode number 15. This week I'm going to be talking about the camera shutter sync sensor. The way this sensor works is it has a PC sync plug on this end and that'll plug into the PC sync port on your camera. Not all lower end DSLR cameras has that kind of a port, uh, but if yours does, then this cable should work with it. And then on this end of the cable is just a standard 3.5 millimeter jack that plugs in to the camera axe. So normally the PC sync cable from the camera would be directly connected to a flash and it would trigger the flash on a front curtain sync, which means as soon as the shutter is all the way open, it would then, the, the camera would activate and tell the, the flash to basically, you know, light the scene. But in this case, we're going to be using the camera axe between the flash and the camera to give us a lot more versatility on how we take the shot. So this is the Camera Axe 5 shield. It will also work with the Camera Axe 5, which includes the enclosure once that's released. Uh, the idea is that you plug in two flashes. There goes one into flash port number one, and there's a second flash into flash port number two. And now I'm gonna plug in the camera shutter sync cable sensor into sensor number one. And um, for this, I've added a new menu um, to the camera axe. I'm not sure if this will make it into the final version or not, but I will put a beta version of the software uh, in the show notes that includes this new menu. And I'm calling it the Smart Flash menu. Uh, so there's two different options right now in this menu. You can either do both, which will trigger both flashes at the same time, which isn't really that interesting. There's lots of ways to trigger multiple flashes. But in this single mode, what it's going to do is it's going to alternate between using flash one and flash two each time you press the shutter button on your camera. So here I'll demonstrate. So as I hit the shutter button, you can see that the different flash activation LEDs um, will alternate back and forth. So I can see a couple of places where that would be a big advantage. One would be in a studio situation where you have two sets of flashes set up with different angles of lighting and you want to be able to, you know, just hit your shutter button twice and you get the different lighting without, you know, moving around flashes or, or changing your flash up at all. Every other shot will take a different um, kind of lighting situation. Another case would be where you have um, twice as many flashes again, but let's say you're taking a, a shots of young children or something that don't like to sit still and you don't want to wait two or three seconds for your flashes to recharge in the studio. So with this, you'd have two banks of flashes and you'd basically be cutting the recharge time on your flashes in half. I can also envision other use cases for the camera shutter sync sensor. Um, for instance, if I go to the advanced sensor menu, uh, in past videos I've shown how you can use a microphone to take a picture with the camera axe. And if you plugged a microphone into sensor port number two, in this menu you could actually um, configure things to only take a picture if the shutter button is pressed and the microphone is making noise. Um, so. I think that by combining sensors, you'll get a lot more options as well. So those are just the first few ways I thought of using the camera shutter sync sensor. I'm sure there's a lot of other uses out there, and I look forward to uh, hearing from you guys what they are. Thanks for watching.